What the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at Noah More Parties. And this is, I think, the last Thursday Night Football prize picks video of the season. Probably talk to Nick. Uh, I want to keep doing these for uh, the rest of the season in the playoffs, I think. So, won't be Thursdays, but hopefully we'll have more going forward. But uh, we got the Titans, we got the Cowboys this Thursday. I think this week is going to be the difference between like a 66% hit rate on the season or a 60% hit rate on the season between 5-0 and 0-5. And and so that's where we're at. Let's do it. The first line I like on Thursday Night Football of this uh, prize picks flex play uh, 5x5 is Malik Willis, 40.5 rushing yards. I like the over. Willis is averaging 31.7 rushing yards per start this season, but he has 43 and 40 rushing yards in his last two games. And the thing with this week, it, like, it sounds like Derrick Henry is not going to get a whole lot of work this week. I think that's maybe Twitter speculation, but they sat him last week in a uh, meaningless game, um, according to the, the Twitter sleuths. And the same thing is the case this year. It's what week 17, uh, they can like win and they like clinch the division or something, um, next week, regardless of what happens this week. And so if this is a meaningless game, they might want to sit Derrick Henry or not run him very often. And so if Derrick Henry's not getting much work this week in a meaningless game, I think this line from Malik Willis is like a decent line um, to take the over on in a normal game with normal game script and a normal game plan like with Derrick Henry in the lineup. But in the case that Derrick Henry is not in the lineup, it's even nicer because Tennessee has to do something else on offense than just like running Derrick Henry 25, 30 times. Malik Willis isn't much of a passer at this point in his career. He's going to run the ball. The next line I like is Dak Prescott, 19 and a half completions. I like the over. He's averaging 21.8 completions per game this season, including 23 and a half in the last month and eight straight games with at least 20 completions. Uh, this feels like a game that the Cowboys should like dominate. Maybe they can take their foot off the gas at some point if they're blowing these guys out. But the Cowboys implied total based on the point spread is 25.8 points. Uh, that would be above their, their per game average with Dak as the starter. And they've only hit, you know, 26 or more points in a game, four out of 10 times with Dak as the starter this season. The Titans have allowed the second fewest rushing yards to running backs in the league despite a sub-500 record and the 25th ranked point differential. So the Titans are losing more than they're winning and they are allowing... Their point differential is one of the the bottom point differentials in the league. So they're they're regularly playing from behind. Teams are regularly playing with a lead against them, and they're still not giving up very many rushing yards. The second fewest in the league, and so the Cowboys are still going to have to pass the ball against a defense with a good rush defense. So I like Dak to go over 19 and a half completions. The next line I like is Randy Bullock, the kicker for the Titans, 5.5 kicking points. I like the under. Bullock is averaging 4.8 points per game this season but just 2.5 per game in the last month. And he's hit this line in just four of 13 games this season, including none zero times in his last seven games and none zero times in three games with Malik Willis as the starter. Basically, in order for Bullock to have a chance at this, Malik Willis needs to lead between two and four scoring drives. If it's two, that means Bullock's going to hit two field goals to get these six points, which means we're relying on a kicker who's making just 80% of his field goals, which is 26th in the NFL, including 71.4% from 40 to 49. Uh, that's 25th in the NFL. And he's 0 for 1 this season from 50 plus. So he's been one of the worst kickers in the league this season. And if he can't hit consistently from 40 plus, that means based on the field position they'd need to get for like a, a more manageable field goal for Bullock, Willis is going to need at least need to lead at least two drives into the red zone. That's if this is two field goals. If it's a field goal and a couple touchdowns, that won't do it because that's five points. So it would be a touchdown and three or a field goal and three touchdown drives. That's I just think Malik Willis probably will not be able to lead the drives necessary deep enough or frequently enough for Bullock to hit this line tonight. 
The next line I like is C.D. Lamb, 71.5 receiving yards. I like the over. He's averaging 80.5 per game this season, including 91.2 per game in his last five games. And the Titans give up the third most yards to wide receivers in the league. C.D. Lamb's good. Uh, I think they will have to throw, despite this probably not being a close game, for the same reasons I laid out in the Dak Prescott argument. And for those same reasons, I like C.D. Lamb over 71.5 receiving yards. And in addition to being, or to giving up the third most receiving yards, yards to wide receivers in the league. The Titans also give up the second most receptions to wide receivers in the league, which is why I like Michael Gallup. 2.5 receptions, I like the over. He's averaging 2.9 per game this season, including 3.2 per game in his last five games. So this is, this would be a subpar game for him. Two and a half receptions. He had two receptions in week 14 and he had one reception in week 15. So that's two of the last three weeks. He's been significantly below this line, but in one of those games, he had six targets. So it's not like he wasn't open. It's not like he wasn't involved. He was playing a lot, getting open, getting thrown the ball. He just happened to not get some of them. The other game was a bad game. But other than those two games, he hit this line last week and he hit this line in five straight games before those two. So take those away. I mean, they happen, but like, if you just say, okay, that's not, those aren't his normal games. He's hitting this line pretty much every week. And and the Titans' pass defense is giving up a lot to wide receivers, and so I think Michael Gallup can catch the ball three times on Thursday Night Football, so that, that's what we got. I got no honorable mentions. Malik Willis, 40.5 rushing yards over Dak Prescott completions over Randy Bullock, kicking points under CeeDee Lamb, receiving yards over Michael Gallup, receptions over uh, good luck, have fun, probably, maybe. See you next week. Peace. Wow.